One reason I chose a flathead prone area was the fact I don't have skipjack. All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I haven't fished for skipjack in a while, and uh, I went through my cast net. Well, problem was, I caught like two gizzard shad and a bunch of crappie, bluegill, and red horse suckers. Well, you're not allowed to keep the crappie and bluegill that you catch in a cast net. So I dumped those back in the water, kept the shad and the red horse, then I went up to the truck and got my crappie and bluegill rods, and I went back down and caught the crappie and bluegill on a rod and reel that I had threw back from my cast net. So now I got them legal. Of course, they're all in one piece hole so they can be identified. And of course, they're all legal size. I didn't show the part about dropping the baits in the water because it just takes up too much video footage. Either way, we're here today. The goal of today is to get a really big catfish. And then of course, I'll use some clickbait title to try to get views on it. Pretty good wind going. Temperature is about 48 degrees. Month of December. Flatheads are still pretty easy to catch this time of year. Water temperature is about 52 degrees. I usually get flatheads every time I'm at this spot. So far we've had a couple small bites from some old dink blue cat most likely. I'm parked right at the edge of a steep ledge dropping down into one of the deeper holes in this section of the river. This hole drops all the way to about 100 foot deep. I'm sitting in 72 right here. If I sit here a while with no takers, I may move around the hole a bit, may go more out into the middle of it. I may go more into the upper end of it. I may go into the deeper end of it. You can still get flatheads in December around here. I've actually caught them 12 months out of the year here. They'll slow down a little bit, coldest parts of January and February, but they're always possible. If you drop it right in front of his nose and presented the bait that it chose, you can reel in wintertime flatheads around here. I got a good flathead last time I was at this spot. I figured I'd go ahead and give it another shot. I'm trying to eat a donut. Didn't even see the takedown over there. We're actually, I believe I'm tangled up in two lines now. I got a fish on one of these rods. That's an ugly old beat up fish, man. Still got some war wounds on his head from back in the spawn days. Ain't quite healed up yet. Sure ain't the one we're after. I'm getting hit right there. I 
I got a big old barge coming around the bend. Hopefully I'm not right where he's coming. I'm gonna put a bluegill on there this time. deeper there. We got set going on. That looks like a flathead. Looking flathead. Good looking flathead. Got mud on his stomach. Fish at all. Not a bad fish at all.
Yeah. I kept getting tapped on by blues uh, right off that ledge. So I started trolling real slow out in the middle of this hole, man. I looked behind me. I got several rods bent and one of them was moving, which was that flathead. So that one just cut loose. So it's pretty nasty what's ever down there. I'll probably have to break this one off. All right, y'all. Uh, it's a slow bite. And I got my target fish, got my flathead, wasn't bad. I mainly came here for flatheads due to the type of bait I had. Either way, I did get the fish I wanted today. It was covered in mud where it was laying tight to the bottom as this water temperature drops colder and colder going into the winter. We didn't get numbers, but got our target fish and not a bad fish. Anytime you say, I'm going after a flathead and you get a flathead, it's a good day. It's a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one. Signing out.